Buttspud.com to support this YouTube channel. Go to my Patreon link below in the description section. A lot of people overlooked this, and this is something very interesting. Guccifer, the not Guccifer 2, the fabricated DNC um, fake Russian uh, hacker that never existed. Guccifer 2.0 was already debunked by disobedient media, Elizabeth Voss, Adam Carter, the forensicator, and some others, but mainly the people I mentioned. So, Gucci for 2.0 was just a complete fabrication to muddy the waters, to undermine WikiLeaks, to make it seem that, oh, there was this Russian, uh, this hacker associated with Russia. The files that, that Gucci for 2.0 copied were not they were copied locally anyway then we have uh, foreign pol the intelligence community professionals also stating the same thing but this is very interesting Gucci for the other day this is a Fox News article I'll put it below people don't people didn't really latch on to what he said which is groundbreaking um, Hillary Clinton's private server was hacked, and we know this because, quote, so this is the original Guccifer. Uh, Lazar also offered Fox a new theory about Clinton's server, a, a, new, a new theory that Clinton's server was compromised as early as 2012 by multiple countries. First, first of all, not a new theory. Robert Gates, Defense Secretary Robert Gates, stated that it's almost certain this was in the Hill. Uh, it was in a radio interview. It's almost certain that Iran, China, and Russia already hacked Clinton's server with top secret special access program intelligence. She had 22 top secret emails. She had special access program intelligence beyond top secret in terms of classification. She had confidential secret and top secret emails. She had born classified emails, retroactively classified emails, all on, a, on an unencrypted private server. The server was unencrypted for three months and then outsourced to Platte River and Dato. Data was a cloud storage firm. Uh, Platte River is being investigated by Congress. Is the management company for Clinton's server. Then, of course, Uma Abedin forwarded classified intelligence to Anthony Weiner. This, it's a complete fiasco. It's amusing, which is why the indictments will take place. Uh, different administration, new FBI director, Christopher Wray, he'll, he knows what intent means. So James Comey was too stupid to realize what, or to, 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 to know what the definition of intent was. Clinton intentionally used the private server to hide from Freedom of Information Act requests. It wasn't James Comey's call on whether or not to find intent. That's the Department of Justice. He had to do his job and recommend the indictments because he listed the crimes she committed. But I digress. I'll continue reading. Quote, this is Guccifer, the first one. Uh, Gut the actual Gucci for not the fabricated. Look, about the server in Chappaqua, New York State. That server was scanned well before me. It was scanned 2012 from IP numbers in Serbia, Belgrade. It was scanned again in 2013 from IPs in Ukraine and Russia. The point is somebody had, had mirrored, had copied, mirrored the whole server of Hillary Clinton. The question is how many countries? One, two, three? At, what point, at one point, it was the whole server. I, I just think, I'm sure some people, I can say some people, I'm sure... Some people have the server contents. And then, it's not the case that it was or, or was not mirrored, her server. The case is how many people did this, how many countries. Asked if he, if he thought there had been at least three intrusions between 2012 and 2013, Lazar replied, yeah, yeah. In 2012, it was there from Serbia in, in 2013. They were, they were from Ukraine and Russia. I mean, this is information from all sources. When you think about it, why on earth would the Russians hack the DNC to let us know how horrible Hillary Clinton was? We already knew that. In 2015, I wrote that Hillary Clinton was unelectable because of favorability ratings. Sometimes in the comment section, <laughs> people say, oh, you always bring it up. You always bring it up. Yeah, I always bring it up. Because all the, the entire political establishment and media it is running on, oh, my God, oh, uh, Trump is president. This is insane. Well, you know, that's what you pushed for that. Don't pretend you care now. 
You wanted to have your cake and eat it too. You wanted Clinton. And you knew that she was under a true FBI criminal investigation. Uh, Russia didn't hack anything in the election. Clinton lost for a million other reasons. Clinton called black youth super predators. She voted for the Iraq war. She had Clinton Foundation scandals. She had an ongoing FBI criminal investigation. She never had a foreign policy decision to save her life in terms of one that worked out. So anyway, Clinton's server was hacked by multiple nations. Give me your thoughts below. Share this segment everywhere. She had an unencrypted private server, and she used that server while she was senator. 